You're on board KCAA's Inland Talk Express. KCAA, Loma Linda, 1050 AM, the station that leaves no listener behind. Hello and welcome to Let's Go Shopping with Bev. This show brought to you by Starflight Entertainment. Music by Dr. Bombay and the Blue Machine Band. Song title, Living in Paradise. Now here's Bev. What? Okay, give it a dun dun dun. Yeah, listen, boys and girls, if we all act a little crazier than normal, here we had a major power outage here in uh, town. We just got up and running. Uh, Hopefully this power will be on for the rest of this program. And if we kind of go black a little bit, don't worry about it. Just keep your dial right where it is. And as soon as we pop back up again, you will hear more music. And welcome to the show. And today we have Barbara and Daniel from Farmers Insurance Risk. Oh, I love them toys. Risk 101. And then we're going to be talking to uh, Dale from Lowe's and Redlands, our favorite guy over there. He's going to tell us about some neat stuff. Favorite home and, repair store. Oh, yes. Yes, I just love that store. I, I can see right now you're going to get our names mixed up. Dale, Daniel. No. I'm just saying. No, no, you know what? I, I can no, see it. No, you know what happened, guys. I'll tell you. After 300 shows, this is the first show I am not doing anything. This show without my coffee. Starbucks oh. is closed, and I'm going. Oh no! Yeah. So if I if I sound more sillier than normal, Bev, that's you why. are funny. That's the first thing you said when you came in here. You couldn't get your, your Starbucks. Box, I know it. Yes. <laughs> It's terrible. And then our other special guest, brand spanking new, is Nancy Kenny, and she is from Prime Lending. And boy, does she have some cool stuff to tell us. Right? You want to say hello? All the good stuff. Hello. This is Nancy Kenny with Prime Lending. Okay, you got to get real up there. you got to talk louder, and, Nancy. Yes. And... Okay? Okay. Okay. And last week you heard the good, the bad, and the ugly of real estate. We had uh, a real estate. We had a lawyer on us. We had insurance on us. Now this week is all the good stuff. Yes. All the good stuff about uh, getting your house back, your trailer, your your tent, whatever you're living in, and or buying or whatever it is. But before we get started, I have one very quick announcement to make, and boy, are we on the road for there. All right, on July 19th, which is today, the U- Junior University Musical Theater in San Bernardino is having the 51st anniversary. Yeah, this has been going on for 51 years, and they are going to be doing Pinocchio. Yay! And that's uh, Saturday, well, tonight, uh, July 19th to August 3rd. The performances are going to be going on. Now, for the tickets, it's $10 for adults, $5 for children, but here comes something better. If you want to get a family pack, yes, I'm talking about a family, Two parents, you know, two mommies, two daddies, a mommy and a daddy, you know, whoever the parents are, right? And it does not matter how many children you have in that family. If they're 18 years or younger, you can get a family pack for $20. Wow. Yes, that's what I said. And if you... uh do not want to go on the line, the www thing, and you want to buy them at the gate, it's $25. But when you stop and start adding, mommy and daddy, there's 20 right there. Right. You have 12 kids, add $5 up, boy, and it's going to be quite a bit. And the gates open up at 735. The performance starts at 8 p.m. And absolutely, absolutely, with nothing stopping this, no animals. No dogs, cats, orangutans, nothing. Also, no smoking. 
They don't care what kind of story you tend to tell them. You have an animal, you're smoking, you're out of there. So make sure you don't do that. Also, they are going to be selling refreshments during this with the cookies and the sodas and the waters and, and all of that good stuff that they're going to be doing. In the address of where it is, I just love this place. Everybody knows where Paris Hill Park is in San Bernardino? Yes, we do. Right. Okay. Well, the correct address and the correct name of that is the Roosevelt Ball. Bowl, and they're on 1001 East Highland Avenue in San Bernardino, and their zip code is 91704. So if you want to Google them for more information, that's what you do. And my grandson, Michael Anthony, he is in this performance. He's been doing it for quite a while, and he is going to be playing W.C. Cricket. He's the conscience, isn't he? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. And uh, also, I told you this was going to be on my website and everything about the Redlands Theater. Well, my computer decided to pass away. As soon as I get it reborn, all this stuff will be up and running. All right, so let's start the good stuff. And Mia is with us. Yay! Yay. Yes. Okay, here's the happy song, guys. Get happy. A flask would help. <laughs> yes. Coffee. We're way too much happy for me. This is really funny. If you could only, they're all in sync, snapping their fingers and moving to the rhythm. This is awesome. Hey, man. No, 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 worry. Be happy. Yes, and that's what this show is all about. We're going to make everybody happy. I'll drink to that. <laughs> I want to go to Catalina now. Yeah. I want to go back to Jamaica. I want to, I want to take a cruise now. I'll take them all. Yeah. All right. That song is going to be playing pretty much on and off the full day. Thank you, Mia. All right, now, Barbara and Daniel from Farmers Insurance Risk 101 Radio. You do your show here, yeah. too, on Tuesdays. Now, let's start with the happy stuff, because last week we talked all about the bad stuff, right? Yeah. Good, the bad, and the ugly. Now we're done to get to the good stuff. Good. Now, you got your house back, your trailer back, your condo, your tent, whatever it is, and you're going to start redoing. Of course, you need a contractor. Tell us all the Do's and the don'ts, but mainly the good stuff of contractors, please. Yeah, Daniel, think of something good about a contractor. Uh, you know what? Don't start with me. <laughs> Come on. Uh, you know how long, how much long do we have here? You want I mean, all yeah. of it? You want all of it? No, well, some of that. <laughs> oh, just some. Just yeah. A brief synopsis. Yes. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Construction contractor. You know, the actual idea of a contractor, there's a, you know, a, a B license, all right, that's general construction. Mm -hmm. The word contractor is being able to contract with, you know, whoever the owner of the building is to do work for them. Okay. Now, your subs, which are all the C, you know, like C36, which I have that also, which is plumbing, mm -hmm. electrical, etc. HVAC, which is... Um. Yeah, AC, AC. Mm -hmm. heating. Yeah, thanks, Nancy. <laughs> um, those are specialty trades. To you know, you're not really supposed to contract with it. But anyway, without getting into the legalities of it, um, doing construction is a. You know. It's a trade, it's a skill set that you really want to have somebody that knows what they're doing to do work for your, you know, on your house, your building, mm -hmm. whether commercially or residentially. And, um, I mean, I could go on, on and on about it. Yeah, but Beth said synopsis. It should be a happy moment, not a <laughs> trying moment. Wait a minute. Let me get my dictionary. What does synopsis okay. mean? Okay. All right. Well, let me help you along. Uh, you know, it's 5,000 degrees in this yeah. building and outside, and all of us are just I'm kind here. of thing. I'm so hot. Yeah. Okay. Now, when – all right. So, us three ladies – us four ladies, Mia, yes. Barbara, Nancy, and I, we buy a condo. All right, and right. we want it redone. So when we are snooping for contractors, 
I know, first, you've got to make sure they have a license, correct? Yes. All right. Second of all, do your homework on them, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Then what do they check, do after that? You want to check the references. You want to uh, see if they've got, you know, uh, of course, insurance. Hello. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, nice pointer. <laughs> Uh, insurance is a big deal. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I've heard of a lot of contractors that if they do have a license, do they have all their insurance? You know, um, so that's a big deal. Um, and then references, of course, can they do the work again? Can they actually do the work they say they can do? Mm-hmm. I, you know, there's a lot of shady contractors out there that, you know, call themselves a contractor or a plumber or whatever. I don't like the word shady. Oh, I do. There's so many different shades out there. Yeah, I have trouble with colors. Uh Oh, okay. (laughs) Nice. Yeah, continue, Daniel, please. thanks. Don't interrupt me again. Okay. (laughs) Okay, I won't. All right, anyway. So, yeah, in my mind, construction is an art. You know, it, it, and they really have, you know, I've been in, in it a lot of years, and one thing that really discouraged me out of getting out of the trades myself is it got too, you know, too routine, too um, manufactured. You know, they really took the, they took the art out of it. Now, when you say the art of it, from experiences and stories that I heard right. from different people, when you hire the contractor and you do your homework and, and you guys are getting this rhythm, you know, the contractor right. and, and the owners. Now, isn't it a good idea, correct me if I'm wrong, please, but it's a good idea. Uh, thank you. It's a good idea to walk through the building. And yes. you kind of give the contractor the ideas. And if you have some photographs that you took from magazines or whatever, th- I-, I would like my kitchen to kind of look like this. Oh, yeah, or like you're that. exactly right. right. You, you have to, as a homeowner, uh, you have to have an idea what you want done, of course. Um, and then, you know, the, the idea is first and, fo- and foremost, and then you hire the appropriate, you know, contractor mm-hmm. to, to help you do the work. Once you do all the due diligence as a homeowner, then you sit down with a contractor that you like, of course, and, you know, like that. It's got the proper license insurance and referrals. And then you sit down and say, okay, what do I want to do? How do I want to do this? And then... The contractor should come up with ideas how to accomplish your your idea. Your vision. Right, your vision. Okay. Whether it's a you know, kitchen room model, bathroom model, you know, all those there's there's so many things you could do and, with that. And with that in mind, the only thing that is stopping you from getting your dream home is staying inside the box. Yeah, Step money outside you got, of right, the box. You got a budget. Mm-hmm. Most people have a budget, um, and you have to and, and that comes with creativity. <laughs> uh-huh. How can you do the most for that dollar that you have? And then, so when you have this uh, talk with a contractor, and everybody right. is on the same page, and y- you have everything written down, now, is it another good idea that you walk from room to room? Sure. And you have, like, an agreement. It's not okay. really a contract. It's more like an agreement. Okay. And you Grandma's really do want to write that down. Right. By and, the way. and specifically, all yeah. right, Grandma's room is going to have two windows on the left and on the right side, and she needs a big closet and this and that. So everything is written down so everybody right. is on the same page. And correct? Part, part, right. And part of writing it down is not just words, but a picture, a drawing. Okay. You, I always did a drawing of. So everybody knows exactly what we're doing. There's no, and if you want to deviate, that's fine. Mm-hmm. But we make a change order, and it, everything's writing. So at the end of the day, when, when I say, okay, I'm done, do we like it? Okay, this is, and they, you know, the homeowner, and it happens occasionally. Mm-hmm. No, I thought it was going to be this. Well, wait a minute, we agreed on this. So if you have a contractor that doesn't want to put anything in writing or a drawing and or both, then you really want to, you know, step back and, you know, find somebody else. Right, because the red flags are going oh, yeah. on and, and all this other, and you're going, well, why, why doesn't he want anything in writing? Right. And then also, it's another good idea, just like with a designer, right? When this is going on, just don't walk away from the house and think it's going to be done. Periodically go in there and check, and if you change your mind, the faster you tell, tell the contractor and the crew.